It's me, an average guy with a lot of experience in watching YouTube. And guys, a brand new platform to download more AI characters for your roleplays and chats is here. Yup. Now you have another platform where you can find good character card. It's pretty nice, not gonna lie. I'm going to tell you about everything that you can do here. So make sure you watch the full video to know everything about it. Before diving into the video, please subscribe the channel if you haven't already. I post daily AI content to help you stay up to date with the latest informations. So the platform that I will be telling you guys about today is Risu Realm. It's basically a platform where you can download character cards from, and then you can use it on any platform or site that you want. Yep, you can use these characters on Character AI, Agnaistic, Character Hub Venus, Yodayo, Char Hub, and other sites which lets you create characters. It's a character repository where people can upload characters and share it with other people. Not going to lie, it looks pretty nice. It has many different characters here that I haven't seen anywhere else, which is awesome. So let me tell you how you can start using this platform. It's pretty easy. First, you have to come to this website here. Now, once you are here, you don't have to make an account unless you want to upload characters here. If you just want to download characters, you don't need to make an account here. Now, once you are here, you will be able to see all these characters here. They are the latest characters that have been added here. If you want to see unfiltered characters here, then you have to press on this button here. Once you press that, it will change, and now you will also see unfiltered characters here. If you want to see trending characters, then press on this button, and it will show you the trending characters. If you want to see most downloaded characters, then press on this button again, and now you will see the most downloaded character here. Now if you find an interesting character here, then you can simply press on it, and then you will come to its preview page. Here, you will be able to see the description of the character. To see its character definitions, you can press on this tab here, and then you will see all the definitions of the character right here. You can read it if you want before downloading the character, which is pretty nice. Now if you finally want to download this character here, then you can press on the Options button here, and then press on this Download as V2 button here, to download the character card. After that, you will be able to import the character card wherever you want. You can also download the JSON file too if you want. For every character there is a comment section too, but I think they are working on it right now. Now just like that, you can download as many characters as you want here. New character will keep getting added here so it's going to be crazy. Other than characters, people can also upload preset and lore books too here, but it is currently in the works. Now this was all for you if you just wanted to download characters. But let me tell you how you can upload characters here too. So first of all, for uploading the characters, you need to make an account. It's pretty easy. It doesn't even require an email. Just press on the account button here, and then the register button here. After that, write the username that you want here, and then the password that you want. After that, press register, and then your account will be created. You will then come to this page here. Here you can add a little description about yourself here, so that other people will be able to see that in your profile page. And you can also change the content settings here, to unfiltered if you want. You can also go to your creator page by pressing this link here. This is the page what the other people will see. It will contain your characters and all. To upload a character here, just press on the upload button. And then you will come to this page. Just drop a character card here which you want to upload. Once you upload a character, you will come to this page. Here you can add description to the character for other people about what the character even is. You can also add tags here. You can also set some additional settings here. You can control the visibility of the character here. Whether you want the character to be made public, or you just want to keep it as private. You can also choose the type of character here. And you can also choose whether you want to enable comments or not. You don't have to worry about these two things here. Just keep them as it is. After that, you can press the upload button to upload the character. Once the character is uploaded, it will take some time before it gets showed on the platform. So you need to wait for that. Once it is done, you will be able to see all the characters on your profile page. You can then click on it and edit it here if you want. You can also remove it too here. And this was literally everything that you can do here right now. Now you can upload characters and contribute here, and you can download characters too, and enjoy. I like the simplicity of this platform, not gonna lie. It's currently in alpha stage, so you may find some bugs here and there, but it will keep getting improved over the time. It's really cool to see another character library platform, and it is cool to see that it has different characters here. Really amazing. Do tell me your opinions on it in the comment section, guys. I would love to hear your responses. 
So that is it from my side. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.